Crab is one of the delicacies enjoyed by many both in Ghana and some parts of the world. It is popularly known as Sokoto in the Akan language, Ka in Ga and Gala in Eve. Crabs are normally used in preparing soups and stews. It is highly patronized by many in Accra, Ghana's capital. The crabs are brought to the Makola No. 2 market from Zita, Salo, Agbote and Kajivi, all in the Volta region. But the bulk of supply are imported into the country from Benin and Ivory Coast. The crabs are packed in small cane baskets mixed with leaves. The traders say the leaves help to prevent the crabs from moving out of the basket. One of the ways the crabs from Ghana, Benin and Ivory Coast are distinguished is by how they are packaged. The ones from Ghana are usually put in baskets smaller than those imported. One can get crabs both on wholesale and retail basis at Makola No. 2, close to the Abobloshi market. They normally start the day's business as early as 4 a.m. Rose Dugbate has been selling crabs for the past 46 years. She described the business as a family one because she started at a tender age of seven and eventually took over from her mother. She explained the types of crabs on the market. This one is from Togo or Benin. You know, if it's having the fingers like this, it will bite. So you can use your hand to take it. You just use spoon to tell it. But if something like this, if it is plain like this, you know, this is from Ghana. Ghanaians, we know how to remove the fingers. So they will remove it. They will put it in the water again. They have some special basket. Then they will keep it in the water again for three days. Rose said, crabs from Benin taste better than the ones in Ghana. They, they are always just to get crab. They don't know the difference. Only we sellers know the difference. The price tag of a basket of crabs is pegged at 250 Ghana cities. Janet Wabasa has also been in the crab business for the past 20 years and takes a look at the price differentials between the local crabs and imported ones. The prices are the same irrespective of the country the crab is coming from. It ranges from 50 to 250 Ghana cities. The livelihood of these women is dependent on this seafood, but now, due to the pace at which the city is falling against the CFA front, they are finding it difficult to break even. The Togo one is caused because of the safer. They have increased it, so we cannot be by, but see yet we are managing it. Apart from the drop in profit margins, there are other challenges including transportation costs and highway robbery. The queen mother of the crab business at Makola No. 2, Madame Trudy Crab, said one of the traders was killed by armed robbers on her way to the capital, Accra. They were tipping, 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 tipping on the way. You know, they, can't, they have no other way because they think it's a small grey goose. It's not small grey goose. Sometimes they will ask them to bring the whole thing down. And when they handle it like that, eh, it will die. We face a lot of challenges when transporting the crabs to the market in the craft. The customs officials take money from us. Some of the traders revealed that in the rainy season, it is very difficult to get crabs from Benin and Ivory Coast. So we went to the fishing shore at Jamestown to find out more. This is Jamestown one of the fishing communities in Accra. We are here to see how these fisher folks prepare the crabs we consume before transporting them to the market. Here, these fishermen with the help of some women would take the shells and fingers of the crabs before packing it to the market for sale. This they claim makes it easier for the traders to sell with less injuries. We also observed that some traders come to the shore to buy the crabs on wholesale. Sheila Ashley said 
Some Chinese restaurant operators also prefer buying their crabs from them than from the market. We are suffering. We are the mercy of the sun and rain. Our nets get missing. Our nets sometimes catch waste rather than crabs. Mr. Ni Ayi has been fishing for crabs for over 30 years and he said during the raining season they harvest a lot but sometimes they don't get the crabs at all. He said the crab business has enabled him cater for his family. When we started this, there were no small boats and nets. Now they are everywhere. And they often destroy our nets. We appeal to the authorities to limit their activities. Jonas has also been fishing crabs for the past three years and says the nets used in catching crabs are different from that of fish. He appealed to the government to provide them with a warehouse and a market to enable them store or keep the crabs there for safekeeping. The net is very expensive. We usually set off to sea in the morning and leave the net in the water with some bait on it, but unfortunately, Sometimes we do lose the net when we return in the evening. Studies carried out by the Food and Agricultural Organization indicate that crabs have high nutritional value of moisture, fat, protein, fiber, ash, and minerals. A dietitian at the Trust Hospital. Wise Lecher said, crabs have less amount of energy, other than that, they are good choices for those who want to reduce weight. Further analysis revealed that they don't have a lot of energy, so the average amount of uh, crabs that you take is likely to give you much less um, energy or calories than, um, say, meat, fatty meat will give you. So they can be good choices for people who want to work on their weight, for example. Mr. Lecher said, World Nutritional Analysis indicates that crabs contain a lot of cholesterol because they are eating together with their eggs. He advised that people with high blood cholesterol should desist from taking crabs. If they are bald, they are uh, better, friendlier to the body or healthier than if um, they are fried. And of course, if uh, crabs are included in um, soups like vegetable soups, uh, it's better for people to consume than if they are included in palm nut soup and granola soup, for example, which are the most likely um, soups that contain crab in, in Ghana. So we asked, which age group can consume crabs? The shells um, are a good source of calcium as well. So for growing children, and uh, for very old people who are at risk of um, um, having softer bones, for example, taking crabs once in a while shouldn't be a bad idea. The demand for crabs is huge in Asia, especially for March crabs. To this end, crab farming is very popular in Bangladesh, India, Thailand and the Philippines. But Ghana is yet to promote commercial raising of crabs on a large scale, even though production cost is comparatively lower because one crab can produce 600,000 to 8 million depending upon the size of the crab. It takes three to four years to get a fully grown crab. That is if they are in their natural habitat. And if this is done, 
Ghana can reduce her food import bill, which as at 2013 stood at $1.7 billion. Yeah.